Thank you, Ann. I'd like to echo Ann's welcome. Uh, it is my great honor to welcome you all, parents, grandparents, siblings, our honored guests, and the college's incredibly talented faculty, staff, and trustees to College of the Atlantic's 43rd commencement. I've been uh, repeatedly advised that my role here today is to keep things moving and blend into the background, so I promise to be brief. And the one morsel I'd offer is to encourage all of you in the class of 2016 to fiercely protect and carefully nourish two essential things, your curiosity and your wonderful sense of passionate idealism. Curiosity, because it's the engine of a full life and will lead you to surprising, lively places over time. Idealism, because it adds meaning and substance to life and because I'm not sure the country or the world has ever needed it more. And a word of warning, you will find that both of these get harder to sustain as you get older. Uh, it has been my great pleasure to have had the chance to work with members of this remarkable class over the last several years, mostly through their participation on board committees, something we actively encourage at COA. And I wanna just highlight a couple of examples out of many. Lucas Burdick, who worked tirelessly through the investment committee to uh, help enact our new fossil fuels policy, whom I have seemed to run into everywhere over these last couple of years, and uh, who was described by an unnamed uh, source to me recently as a humble, contemplatively scrappy activist. <laughs> this is pretty high praise, I think. Uh, and uh, Matt Messina, who did an incredible Gulf of Maine uh, field guide as a senior project and was a wonderful mentor for my son, Nick, uh, when he worked on Osprey two summers ago, teaching him all about seabirds, especially those amazing dive-bombing gannets. And as anyone who watched yesterday's remarkable senior project presentations can attest, this class is brimming over with just this sort of talent, curiosity, persistence, passion, and yes, idealism. And I think it's safe to say that this planet has rarely needed those qualities as much as, much as it does at this exact moment. And I have no doubt that this group will unleash massive, pivotal, positive change over the coming decades. And again, we need it. And so now I have the great honor of turning things over to the college's first alumni president and curiosity and idealism nurturer in chief, <laughs> Darren Collins. <laughs> 